بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا وسوتنا وحبيبنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to bless you all in this blessed month to forgive your sins and our sins our mistakes to allow you to reap the blessings of this blessed month and the last 10 nights and the night of power inshallah ta'ala uh, alhamdulillah so as we enter these last 10 nights of, of ramadan uh, i wanted to talk about something which um, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discusses uh, or talks about uh, in the quran in, in multiple places in describing the state of many people on the day of judgment uh, as people who will come on the day of judgment uh, with regrets and that's not limited to just uh, the non-muslim or the non-believer or those who rejected uh, the message human beings in general um, you know we don't always take advantage of the opportunities that we have in front of us right and as we go through our lives, we can we, we realize that we have certain regrets. We we have, we've maybe we've made mistakes. We, maybe we've turned away from religion, turned away from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, uh, turned away from our connection with the Quran, and we regret certain things in our lives, right? Uh, so Allah talks about in the Quran, you know, people who will come on the day of judgment with all sorts of regrets about what they did in this life. Uh, the friends they had, uh, the decisions they made, the choices they made, um, the you know, basically wasting their lives and wasting their opportunities, and wishing and hoping for some sort of way to re- reconcile uh, to um, to fix that situation, to go back. You know, some people actually ask Allah, "Let us go back. Give us a chance to go back, and we'll believe and we'll do good." Uh, but you know, the interesting thing about regret is that. Uh, sometimes regret can be a really good motivator for us. Sometimes we can stop and think about our lives and think about what we might have done wrong and use that as a uh, springboard to make change in our lives, inshallah. So, you know, in our own time, you know, in these blessed nights and blessed days, we can take a moment or take a few moments and ask ourselves, what is it that we actually, uh, we regret in our lives? What is it that we might have done that we wish we hadn't done, you know, things that we, you know, would rather not meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with in our books, right? And that's different for different people. Some people, alhamdulillah, live very, very good lives and they don't regret a lot of things, right? But when we think about that, if we just stop a minute and think about what we might regret in our lives, we can ask ourselves, um, do, do I regret... Uh, going to the masjid for Fajr? Do I regret, you know, reading an extra juz of the, of the Qur'an in Ramadan? Do I regret finishing a khatam, you know, a complete reading of the Qur'an in Ramadan? Do I regret waking up early before Fajr to pray to Hajjud? You know, most of us, we're not going to regret any of that stuff, right? We're, ne- we're never going to regret those things. We think about all the Ramadans that have passed and all the things, you know, we don't think about all the all the things that made us tired. We just think about the good things, right? So uh, the reason I wanted to to mention this is because, you know, a lot of us are, uh, in, in, the, in these moments, a lot of us can be uh, physically fatigued. We can get tired by the end of Ramadan. We start to get physically uh, tired. Uh, and a lot of us don't sleep very well in Ramadan. A lot of people get just very few hours of sleep in the evening, and maybe they 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 fit in a nap somewhere, you know, after work or or before work. Or, but a lot of us, you know, physically we get tired in Ramadan, but we're not going to regret any of that. Alhamdulillah, we're not going to regret uh, the moments that we spent trying to get close to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And actually, most of us will will regret not trying a little bit harder. So in these last 10 nights, in, in, you know, in America, we call that this is the fourth quarter you know, of, of a basketball game or football game. This is the, you know, the, the home stretch, if you will, of this blessed month, right? We want to suppress that voice in us, which is telling us to take it easy, right? Which is telling us to, you know, go easy, like, you know, go easy on yourself and not try harder, 
um, and that Allah is merciful. Well, of course, Allah is merciful, but He's also, um, you know, He loves those who do good, and His mercy is close to the muhsineen, as He says in the Quran. So we want to take this opportunity in the last ten nights to push ourselves a little bit, to try a little bit harder, to give it our all, so to speak, so that at the last. You know, when Ramadan's all over, when we go to Eid, we say, well, I tried my best. I don't have any regrets. You know, I'm not going to regret, on the day of Eid, I'm not going to regret the, the hours of sleep I lost. Um, but rather, I might regret that I didn't try a little bit hard. So we want to encourage ourselves and you all to take advantage of these blessed opportunities, to leave it all out there with Allah. And Allah is, Allah is the one who gives success. Allah is the one who accepts our efforts. So we ask Him to allow us to complete these blessed days and blessed nights, striving, really striving to better ourselves and change and change our condition and give our all, so to speak, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not regret the, the effort that we put in not regret the time that we spent connecting to Allah and spending time in the masajid or uh, with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, trying our best to get close to Him, Azza wa Jal, and asking Him to accept our efforts and not um, not allowing ourselves to go on on um, on the day of judgment and say, you know what, I wasted another Ramadan. I wasted another Laylatul Qadr. I wasted another... Um, opportunity which Allah put in front of me, but rather to say Alhamdulillah, uh, who, who by His blessing uh, allows us to complete good works. So may Allah uh, accept your efforts, may Allah bless you and your families, may Allah forgive your sins and your shortcomings, and may Allah guide you to that which is best in this life and the next life, and us as well. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته